Guys. Hey guys, we're back at you. Uh, we're gonna demonstrate how to connect two inverters to a communication with the Zigbee and running the communication Cat5 through the system to the BAG, to the first BAG port. You see the BAG port here and the BAG port here, we're gonna connect the two. This is, we have to set this as the master and this will be the slave. All right, we'll be right back at you. We're gonna have the connections and everything ready. Screw them uh, so you can st stick the Cat5 inside of the ports. Unscrew the screws. BAG, use the first port. The first port of BAG for the R485-1. And then screw it into the port. All right, guys, we got everything hooked up. Uh, we got the communication where I ran into the first slot of BAG. BAG. And we use white, blue, yellow. And also to the first master, BAG. White, blue, yellow. Next, we're going to do the configurations inside of communication. All right. Go up to communication, push OK, go down to RS485-1 configurations, push OK, device, protocol, you want the protocol to be master, M, master, slow down the master, push OK, and it's the master. Then we go over to this inverter, let me put the case back on. Put a password one two three one two three one two. We go down to communication. We go to RS four eight five dash one. Make sure this is on slave. It is on slave. This is to slave. All right. Get stuff. You go back into the settings, you go down to slave detected, see if your slave is there, say yes, detecting slaves, and it's still, let's see if it'll detect it. Yes, one slave detected, so that's complete. You guys have a great day and visit us at solarsales.com when you get a chance. Thanks.